Alright, so I'm finally getting around to it. I'm finally gonna play Earthworm Jim. Uh, as you can see, this is the HD version. It's for the Xbox. I actually want to play it on the Wii, but I don't think it's gonna get released on the Wii anytime soon. So I decided to buy it for the Xbox and go that route. Uh, this was actually one of my favorite games growing up, just because it was so wacky and so different from other games. Uh, if you actually think about what the games were when you were younger, most of the games were like kind of cutesy, and then uh, games like Duke Nukem and Earthworm Jim came along. These kind of broke the mold and were a little bit different and were a lot of fun. Uh, they're not necessarily that great of a game, although Earthworm Jim is in my book better than Duke Nukem game wise but it's still not a great game it's just an okay game but it's, it's so wacky that it becomes kinda this um, amazing game actually it's a little bit like B-movie horror movies there are you know they're bad you know they suck but you know they stink but you know they're funny and they have some some redeeming factors in them that makes them really great, really classic, and that's what happened with Earthworm Jim. Anyway, I'm gonna do this, hold on, let me <coughs> return the sound, there you go, ah, let's see, easy, normal, hard, original, insanely hard, like the original, you need some skills and some luck. That sounds like the normal setting on most games. So I'm gonna go with the original and I'm gonna regret it. Alright, original. Original difficulty. See the amazing story of Earthworm Jim. It's a crow attacking Jim. Meanwhile, in outer space. It's a big ass weapon. Look, look at his weapon. It's freaking huge. The size of a minivan. <sighs> He's a freaking earthworm in a spacesuit. <laughs> What's there not to like about that? It's amazing. I just love this game. Alright, this is the last screen. The crow in the spacesuit landed. Yes, let's save the, let's save the princess. Alright, so basically what I can gather, it's the, the same levels from the original plus a few level levels that they've added. So this is the first level of the... I actually just played the Super Nintendo game, not, not the Genesis game, so... Come on. Launch, launch the cow. Uh, and I got an achievement for it. Alright. Yeah, I remember the bounce, bouncing... Bouncing wheels. Oh, no. I missed the moose head. And I missed that, too. Ah, screw it. I didn't need it. Just some life. All right, all right. Hmm. Should be some. Should be a hook or something here. I think. I don't see anything. Hmm. Yeah, there really should be a hook here somewhere. I think you're supposed to jump from here. Ah, no hooks anywhere. Alright. Yippee! 
Ah, they respawn. I don't think they respawn in the Super Nintendo version. Ah, oh, shit. It's the VLC cone. Getting attacked by the VLC cone in the Liberty Bell. from any moose head. Alright, that seems a little bit too easy to get this achievement. Got him. Alright, 